Cool. All right. Another episode of the Analog Hour. Thanks for tuning in. I got none other tonight in my balcony than the Emperor of Inglewood himself, Willie Will. What up? What up, everybody? All you folks out there in Vibe Land. What's up to all my Vibeaholics out there? What up? Yeah, yeah. Just, just chilling, man. You yeah, know? Yeah. Just chilling. We're at- What up, everybody? Hey, what up? we had to take a quick smoke break. You know what I mean? <laughs> smoke them if you got them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Willie Will in the house. What's up, Willie Will? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. You know, uh, work today, you know. Unfortunately, you know, I'm one of those musicians, and there are probably a lot of them out there. I still have a day job, you know, so work and then so what do you do willie will here is in the healthcare industry i mean yeah i'm in the healthcare. i uh, actually do uh, uh the transportation thing pick up people take them to dialysis I take them to, to the appointments job, actually. stuff like that i've been doing this for like 17 years man oh my god 17 years 17 i did it for years. a year the uh, same yeah. job it's not for yeah. everybody you know you got to really be patient and you just got to you know be careful. The, the main thing is the driving, you know. Southern California, the drivers out here are just So what's insane. the craziest, craziest thing you've ever seen One out on the, the road? Um, I've seen cars flipping over right in front of me. Like how? Uh, like it was raining, and um, I forgot exactly what freeway it was on, and he lost control, and right in front. He was right in front of me, and as soon as, as soon as, uh, what car? Uh, I don't, I don't remember what kind of car he had. But it was a, it, it was a car. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, it was a regular car. Yeah. And he, he hit the, uh, the guide rail in the middle, and that just bounced him, and he, he just started flipping, man. In front of you. Right in front of me. So yeah. what'd you do? I just slowed down. I just, just slowed down right away. You know, I don't want to run into him. That was on the job? Yeah, that was on the job. Uh, oh, I forgot. The Probably the craziest thing, kid. What? Um, I had just dropped off a client, and I was going uh, going back to a, uh, one of the dialysis in, in L.A., and it was about the time when uh, the kids get out of school. And I was going down, uh, I think it was Olympic, and um, there was this little... Uh, Kids crossing crossing the street, and the and this little girl, she was the last one. This car came flying, and out of nowhere, just Damn. hit her. She flipped over the oh car, my God. and this son of a bitch just kept going. He kept going. Oh my God! And I was like, whoa, whoa! So I I made a U turn and I followed him. I got on my no phone. Way. Yeah, I got on my phone. I called oh, the cops. With a patient? No, no. I was by myself because I had just okay. dropped them off. And um, I called the cops and told them, hey, this, um, I'm in pursuit of a hit and run right now. He just hit this little girl. I don't oh know if my she's dead God. or alive. And, oh, uh, my God. Gave him the license plate and, uh, we're, and and the street we were going down. And within a couple of minutes, they were they were on me and they, and they got him. But wow. It was unbelievable. They got him because of you. They got him, dog. I couldn't let that go by like that, man. Damn, you're yeah. a hero. He, really? just, he, just hit, he just hit this girl. What a... What a... Oh, my God. It, it was... I, I called the office after that, and I said, I, I got I'm done. I got to go back. <laughs> man, oh, I was all man. shook up after seeing that, man. Wow. Oh, it was it was bad. That's one of the... How little of a girl? Maybe uh, elementary school, like, yeah, like eight. Seven. You know. Poor. Yeah. Poor little girl. Yeah, completely flipped over the car, all the way to oh the back. Oh my god! On the ground, and I was like, "Whoa!" And, and he, he just ran, kept going, didn't stop I or oh, did wow. this. So I was like, "Wow, really? No, hell no! You ain't going. No, no, not, not good today. job, Willie. Not, not today. today. Not today. Good job. Oh, uh, one of the funniest things probably has uh. We pick up kids too, like us. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, uh, special challenge. needs, yeah, yeah. Special needs, challenge kids. Yeah. And uh, picked up this one kid. Uh, got to his house, and there was nobody home. Yeah. So we had. I, I can't just 
take him out the van and leave him. I, we have to wait. So we're waiting. He's like, yeah. I got to pee. I got to pee. Now, this yeah. guy's in a wheelchair. He can't walk or anything. Right? Yeah. He couldn't hold no more. Pissed all in the back of the van. Oh. It just, and, and, and this, I don't know what kind of pee he had, but it was strong. Wow. Yeah. So finally, his, you know, his people came and I told him what happened and they gave me some, some towels and stuff. But man, I was like, oh, you little son of a gun, man. <laughs> Pissed all in my van. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a challenging job, but I, I, I love it. I love to help people. You know? that, that you do, you man. You know, because I figure, you know, that one, you do. one day I'm going to be a, a dirty old bastard, that you, you know, and I want somebody to help me. You've you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy's definitely helped me through some, uh, <laughs> some nuts. <laughs> yeah. In the span of time that I've been in. Uh, so that's work, you. you know. Yeah. I've been doing this for uh, 17 years. Shout out to Caravan. What up, yo? Hope we have a job for many, many years, but we'll see what happens, you know. Maybe this music will get going. Yeah, you know? I'm, that's what I'm hoping for, <laughs> man. I want to retire and, and and go travel the world with the music. That's my. That's what. My, that's what I want to do. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like the playing music right now in your in your stage in life? I I, I love it because. This band, but this particular band, project we're doing now has really challenged me to go beyond my comfort zone. Like before, in other bands, I would just sit back and play my instruments or anything. Now you guys got me singing and jumping and screaming and, and running all over the stage and, and all this. But I love it because I'd never done that before. It, it, it's like a whole brand new Brand new Willie now. Yeah, it's got to be a show, yeah. man. Yeah, like, you don't want people to see you chilling. Yeah, like yeah, no. I, I was back. In, I was just <laughs> in the back by the drummer, they just, just they chilling. Take it to uh, you know, no. See you chilling. Get your butt up there and, and, yeah. and, and make us laugh, <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. make us dance, or make yeah. us dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? I, you you know what I love the the most yeah. is I like going around the crowd and then. <laughs> we're doing the we're we're, we're, we're doing the, the 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 crowd thing, and I'll say it, and then they're supposed to repeat it back. And some people will be sitting there on their phone or whatever, yeah. and they're not even paying attention. <laughs> or I'll go I'll, I'll go point the mic. Yeah, he goes in the crowd. I'll go point to the mic. I'll point the mic to with the wireless say, microphone to say something, and they'll be like, Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's so funny, so 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 funny. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. It's good. Life is good. Life is good. Nice, you man. Know? Cheers to that, Willie yeah, Will. Life is good. We ain't rich, what? but we're having fun. Tomorrow, you're going to see Parliament Funkadelic. Yes, with yes. With Fishbone. Fish yes. Yes. This Jeez. Is, yeah, I think this is once in a lifetime concert. Sounds so ridiculous. For all you guys true. out there, if you didn't know about this concert, it's going to be at the uh, at the Nokia, I think, in uh, LA Live, downtown LA Live. George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic, and Fishbone. Amazing lineup. Amazing. Yeah, so come on out. Holler at your boy. So, yeah. yeah that's going to be fun. What was the first concert you ever saw? Oh, man. The fir very first concert? Wow. I'm trying to think. Oh! Like live performance. Live performance. Um, of a band. Free concert. Uh, sax player. By the name of John Clemmer. I don't know if you ever uh, uh, ever heard of uh, him. Amazing sax player. My mom and dad took took me uh to go see him. Wow. And uh, it was amazing. Yeah. You know that was my first love in music was jazz. You ah. know, I got to do, How old were you then? Oh man, maybe like in I uh, sixth grade. Something like that, yeah. you know, seventh grade, something yeah. like that, you know, just a youngster not knowing nothing. And then um, my first mega concert, I went to go see the Jackson Five. Oh, my that's dad! Right. My dad got me tickets. Yeah, that. my dad got me tickets. <laughs> he got me and my girl tickets. I was in the ninth grade then, guys, and uh, he got us two tickets to go to see the Jackson Five at the Hollywood Bowl. Wow. How old was Michael? Oh, man. He was 
well, he, he was still Michael Jackson then, little Michael Jackson. I, yeah. He must have been, let me see, if I was 15, 14, he had to have been like 12. Because yesterday, as a matter of fact, yesterday was his birthday. It was Michael Jackson's ah. birthday, yeah. As a matter oh, of fact. happy birthday, Michael. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah, about 14. I guess he must have been like 14, 13 years old. Wow. You know. Did you ever see him after that? Uh, no, I never seen him. Once, once he became Thriller and all this, no, I never did see him. I just seen the Jackson 5. I regret not seeing him. There's a, there's a few out there I regret not seeing, but you know he's one of them. I think he's one of the most um, yeah, amazing me too, man. guys that we ever, we ever Entertainers. seen. Entertainers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. But Those, you saw James Brown. I seen, yeah, I seen the great James Brown, the Godfather of Soul. So I did, he, I did get the chance. How to see was him. Uh, I don't know if you can compare the the young Michael Jackson to the James Brown that you saw. How old was he when you saw him? James Brown. Oh, he was man, late fifties, sixty maybe. Mm, yeah, toward the, the toward the end of his career, you know. I didn't see him in his prime. I didn't really. But I, so that, I didn't that's know still much. dynamite. But he though. was still, you know, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Um, the energy. That's a, that's another thing. The energy that, that some of these guys have, even when they're old men, it's it, it's 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 unbelievable. Yeah, it's like they're twenty years old still. It just yeah, it just never yeah. goes away. And the spirit, it just yeah. oh man, it just takes you over. Yeah, really, you know, uh, <laughs> as a Mike compared to James, I think Mike was he emulated a lot of a lot of James Brown. Yeah. Not so much the music, but the entertainment sh- yeah. part of it, you know. Yeah. Appealing to the crowd, dancing and all that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It was, wow. It was great. It was great. <sighs> That's some real music. Yeah. Yeah. But I see, man, it's so many, so many artists. I and see you saw them. the other, and you saw Prince. I got to see Prince. Yeah. How many times? Oh man, I've seen Prince maybe like four times. Uh, the last time I think it a couple. Oh man, must have been like maybe six. He did a, a bunch of shows at the Forum, and um, yeah, went to go see him a couple couple of nights. And the thing about Prince, you see him one night, and the next night the show is completely different. No, he never way. did the same show, the same way. He always did it different. It's same with his with his albums and with his every every CD was different, it's different band, different you know different style. It was just wow, man, incredible. He's another one. He'll be truly missed, truly truly missed. Yeah. So what's another one that Ooh. you regret not seeing? Uh, Bob Marley, probably at the top of the list. I regret seeing Bob Marley, and I regret seeing not seeing uh, Led Zeppelin. Uh, I didn't get the chance to see them, and I, I love Led Zeppelin. Love them, love them to death. And Bob, I mean, that's that's, you know, I I got introduced to reggae in '79, uh, and uh, at the, at first, that's all we listened to was Bob Marley, and it was just you know. The, the the spirituality. Do you know and, uh, the na- the 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 year? You heard reggae the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was like an awakening, you know? Whoa. Yeah, because before then, all I knew was rock and roll, jazz, R&B, yeah. you know, blues. I didn't know nothing about no reggae. And, yeah. you know, it's, man. And then Bob came on, and he just woke everybody up. Whoa. You know, to, to this new sound. Nice. You know? That's what we're hoping to do, is wake everybody up to our new sound. That's so right. We'll see what happens. That's right. We'll see what happens. Yeah, man. Yeah, but uh, it jazz, uh, so many great weather report. Miles Davis, uh, return to forever. Um, the Crusaders. Yeah. I mean, just so many, so many artists, and so many are gone now. Just so many, you know. But I you really, know what? There's a lot of bands out there, though. Yeah, yeah. They're just not getting the the love. Yeah, like, well, jazz never jazz. It had its it, it had its moment, but yeah. now it's kind of like, you know, yeah, on the back burner. 
people aren't really, you know, no paying money, paying to see too it. much attention to jazz like they did before. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's a different ball game now. Truly different ball game. Yeah, yeah. See, I see you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like somebody? I'm not going to mention this? no names. Talk me in a. I'm kind of eccentric when it comes to things like that, you know. I feel like a phone is just for you to pick up and dial the number and say hello and talk to them, <laughs> you know. And then uh, these guys got me into Instagram and texting and all. I was like, oh, no, here we go. Here we go. But I understand it's 2018 and, you know, eventually everything is going to be on the phone. It's not going to be no money. It's not going to be it's, it, it, everything. Yeah. Everything is going well, to be right all there. all my money is on the phone. Yeah, see, already, see? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody. I don't see cash. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's Unless I'm going to go yeah. buy some... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know... herb. You can... Uh, the you, at the yeah, store. yeah, you, you <laughs> can get that. You can get food. You can get, you know... It's, you know, the phone is... It's unbelievable. You know? Unbelievable. We got some dogs down there. You know? I remember when we just had pay phones. You know the the, the the booths. If you wanted to go use oh, them, oh yeah, yeah, I was just you, talking about. Yeah, you just if you I, wanted to go, I was to talking go, to Crystal. If you was on the street, and about, you go uh, find a pay booth, pay uh, booth, and you know you put your quarters in there and then or whatever. You can talk to your girlfriend. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you run out of oh man, babe, I ran out of change. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. It's a different world. Yeah, different Completely world. Completely different world. Different world. A lot of people don't even have house phones anymore. I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm mm. saying. You know. Why would you need one? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot, man. So uh, what do you guys do when you're on, when you're chilling at home? Um, I got the wife and I got uh, to relax. Two grandkids at home, and um, one of my w- one of my boys, Matthew, he just got finished uh, in a uh, basketball Matthew. basketball right. league. They oh, made it all how? the way to the championship. What happened? They lost. Ah, they lost. Man, he was all bummed out. Oh, uh, it's all right. So Matthew. I got you know I got them in it's basketball, cool, baseball, Next soccer. Year. You know, try to keep their minds active and busy. Um, yeah. They haven't really drawn to the music yet, but hopefully they will. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Yeah, we, you know, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I do at home, you know, with the family, you know. Yeah, we uh, will cooking, family Cooking, barbecuing, man. whatever, you know, just, just yeah. chilling at the house. Listen to, listen to old albums. I love to listen to uh, to. To the, the old, records. Yeah, to records. The real records. Not a CD, that the album. Actually, I have a vinyl uh, record. I have a turntable at home and everything, you know, just like the old days. And you got an uh, old school yeah. uh hi fi system. Yeah, I got all that, you know. I got some albums that will knock your socks off, man. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I still have the first Jackson Five album. The very first one. I have that one. Yeah. So when you got it was uh, when it came when out? When it came out, yeah. Wow. When it came out. And you really take care of your... Yeah, oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. Still in the plastic, everything, yeah. Wow. Yeah, my mom and, my mom and dad taught me uh, taught me how to, you know... I wonder how much that would go for in eBay. I don't know. I don't know. It's original press. Original, yeah, it's original. Of the Jacksons. Of the five. Jacksons, yeah. Um, the very first one. Diana Ross. One owner. Diana Ross presents... The Jackson Five, because Diana the Ross name, discovered them. That's the name of the album. Yeah, yeah. Diana Ross presents the Jackson Five. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, so that's what I do, you know, at home. Go swimming. My boys are like <laughs> like fish. You know, they want to get in that pool every day, especially go summer. With them. Yeah, yeah. Especially summertime. I get home. We should take them out to the know, lake sometime. Yeah, yeah, I want, I want to take them camping. I, but they got a, I don't know, it's weird because they got a phobia about bugs. Especially oh. bees. They see a bee in the man, it's just like, Damn. they turn white, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah. You got to take them out more. I got to get them out in the wild. 
yeah, and the, get them used to 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 the to the their city kids. The, yeah, city, yeah, yeah, yeah. City slickers. Yeah, <laughs> got to get them out there. Out there in the country. Yeah, camping's a beautiful thing. Yeah, out there with nature. Hi, but you grew up in the city too, right? Yeah, I grew up in the city in in Inglewood, and but uh, we went camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we went camping. Yosemite, Big Bear, or you you name it. We went uh, we went all over, all over How fishing, all that. How's it growing up in Inglewood? Um, it was it was cool, but then in the seventies, uh, about the, the time I was starting to get out of high school, the gangs started getting real bad. Ah, and it, you know, I was wondering why you never got into to the banging shit. Uh, when I was in the eighth grade. Um, Cause you'd be an OG, OG, yeah, OG by be. now. When I was in the eighth grade, <laughs> me and my friend, we were walking home from school, and it was this fine girl in front of us. So we walked faster so we could talk to her, you know, uh, carry carry her books or whatever. And, <laughs> and not knowing to us, these guys came up from behind us. It was six of them. I'll never forget it. And um, they was like, "What's up? You got any money?" I was like, no. <laughs> and as soon as I said no, one of them took a punch at me. My friend seen that, and he took off Whoa. running. But as he took off running, he stumbled, and he fell. When he fell, yeah. they went to him, and then I took off running. Whoa. Yeah. So I circled, and then what happened? I circled back. I, 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 I oh went a couple God. blocks and came back. He was laid out in, in, the, in the middle of the street. What did they do? They beat the, they beat the crap out of him. They didn't shoot him. I Back stopped. then, they didn't shoot. They didn't. They didn't. You know, they didn't. Yeah, they yeah, didn't yeah. stab him. Yeah. Just fighting. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah, the good yeah. old days. Right. Right. You still live. Okay. And went back. He's laid out in the middle of the street, all beat up and everything. You know, helped him up, helped him to the curb and everything. And then eventually, he, you know, caught his senses and we walked home. But from that day on, I was like, I don't want to never be in no gang. It took six guys to beat <laughs> two guys. <laughs> yeah. You know. That's how they and work, they're, man. They're, they're, you know, they're bullies, man. They try to be bullies, but yeah. basically they're cowards. Yeah. They're cowards. Right on. You know, so that made me, that made me not want to ever be associated with gangs. Was that the 60s? That was in, yeah. That was in, the, uh, right in, 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 I'd say that might have been like 69, 70, 19, somewhere, oh, somewhere right nice. around there, yeah. Yeah, that's what a when time, the, dude. That's when the that just first, first started coming out in L.A. That I knew, yeah. that I knew of. You know, now gangs been around was since, a, since a, the beginning. The Bloods or the Crips? Would you know? I don't know if there was Bloods or Crips. I, I don't know which one they were, but I know they they got my friend real bad. They beat him up real bad. Whoa! Yeah. For no reason. No reason. No reason at all. You know. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's just uh. I heard like there's these theories. There's one theory in particular, spiral dynamics, that says like there's just these things, behavioral patterns that people go through in their life. Especially men and women have different things. Like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And like there's a certain part in a in a man's life when he's growing up when like a gang is like super attractive, like. Like a bunch of dudes that are in it together to like like fight, you know, them against the world, you know, you know, yeah. kind of the mentality. And then, you know, people go through these cycles in life and they say that that's why gang activity is like so popular. Because there's a point in a boy's life that it, it's like it's like an army. It's like joining an army a little bit, you know, like a lot of kids come from broken homes. And the family at home is is not as tight, and they see the gang, and it's like that, they, yeah, and it's like a, a a a family to them. Well, that's why they they're able to do that. It's because the parents aren't there yeah. to, aren't there to say, hey, that's yeah. not cool, right? You know right? I mean? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, exactly. A, basically, you what know, it comes down to. I say maybe I don't know what the percentage is in America, but I say there, there's more single. Single, uh, single, um, single parent homes than there is family homes. I would say, right? You know, at this point in time, yeah, you know, single moms. 
So, you know, what do you think changed? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> People just think of the boys back know. then, huh? No. I have to say, I have to put it on the guys, man. You know, it's, it's a lot of sorry guys out there. Yeah. Just lazy bums, don't want to, you know, don't want to be a man, don't want to be responsible or whatever. And the women just had to step it up because the men just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know, um, when I was a kid, the man was dominant, you know, yeah. in, in, the, in the family. The wife, the wife didn't even have to work. The man carried the household. Yeah. You know, and, and now it's well, like... You, well, now, basically... You know? Well, another thing that contributes to that is basically now uh, one guy's salary can't feed a family like it used to. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. But what I'm saying, even though that that that, that that's uh, probably true for for millions of people out there, the man is not present in the home anymore. It's more of a single single mother thing, right? Why you know why the man chooses not to be you know with his family, or he gets on drugs, or drinking, or whatever the case or may in be. Prison. Yeah, yeah, or in prison. Yeah. Whatever the case may be, it's not the 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 family thing is is not nowhere near where it used to be, you know. Yeah, nowhere near, and I don't know I don't know what caused that. I, I yeah. just don't know. Maybe you know? it's I don't know. My mom and dad divorced when I was in high school, but I still maintained a, a relationship with both of them. You yeah. know, my dad still, he still came through or whatever, come pick me up, go to his house. Or, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. Still, yeah. We still connected, you know, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I, I see kids out there, that, you know, that I hate my dad. He's ne He never was there for me or whatever, you know. Well, um, my grandkids right now, they don't have their dad. He's locked up. Ah. You know, so I had to step in and be... The dad and the and the grandfather and best friend and <laughs> everything <laughs> else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you got some great kids, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, uh, it's a bad, it's a bad, bad cycle where America's in now. Yeah, it's really, really bad. You know, it's not so much a economy; it's the uh, the bond with the family. You know, yeah. it's, it's not as tight as it used to be. No, that's real important to you. Yeah, that's super important because at the end of the day, that's all you got is your family. You know, when yeah. you get old, when you get sick or whatever, yeah, nothing. your family's gonna come come see you and you know make yeah. sure you're all right. You know, yeah. friends come and go. Exactly. Yeah, they come and go. Blood man. is blood. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I try to, you know, I just try to do what my parents did, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, if I see them messing up real bad, you know, they will get that whipping. Ah. You know? <laughs> I don't believe in that, you know, go stand in You're the corner. You're old school. Go, yeah, right, go, go stand in the corner. Uh, <laughs> time, uh, out. time out. Uh-oh. I'm going to take, take your tablet away from you now. No, come here, boy. Take your tablet away. Yeah, from you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come here. Let me man. take it away from you. Yeah, I'm gonna take good. some. I'm, I'm gonna uh -oh. take some away from you. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I put the fear of God in them, so <laughs> they know when I say when I say something that you know I mean it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're definitely fearful sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have the I have the voice. <laughs> yeah, I have the voice like uh who who. Oh, like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> you give him the choke? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero, Willie? Right Ooh, now. Man, my favorite one right now? I know it changes. Ooh, uh, I probably have to say Deadpool. Deadpool's my boy right now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's so cool, That was a man. good movie. You liked he's it. so cool. Yeah, first one and the second one were both really good. Yeah. Yeah, Deadpool. You know, because Batman and Superman and all, and they've been around for, for, for years and years and years. Spider-Man been around for God knows how long. Then this guy, Deadpool, came along, and he just, oh, God, he cracks me up, man. Yeah. He, he's real. He's, yeah. Yeah. 
He's yeah. he, he's a he he's a, a real superhero because he deals with reality yeah. in the real world. Right, you know, he doesn't, you know, come from another planet and all this. Yeah, and, and, you know what I'm saying. He's just an ordinary guy. And, and <laughs> Ryan Reynolds like really puts yeah, yeah, puts so yeah. much character. Yeah, you know, it's just like yeah, I don't know. That's his best character, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think so. I think so. Yeah, Dead, yeah, Deadpool. I like um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh nice. I like, I like those I like those guys too. Yeah. Yeah. I like those movies. Yeah. The last one was pretty funny. Yeah. 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 yeah That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I know you're movie buff. Oh man. What's this... your favorite movie of all time? Ooh, boy, favorite of or, all time. Or or like if Desert Island top five. Um Godfather. The whole trilogy. You know. So that's um that's that, that's one of them. Okay. Um, one is three. <laughs> uh, well, you said five. You said five. Uh, the, five uh, I'm trying to, okay, but the one okay, the, the, the one with Mel the one with Mel Gibson when he was uh, uh three. No, no, the last one. No, 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 the one with Mel Gibson when he was this, he was or, this uh, Irishman. He, uh, wait, he was William Wallace. What's Braveheart. The, yeah, Braveheart. Oh man, Braveheart, man. Yeah. Right, we got Godfather series. God, Godfather, Braveheart. Braveheart. Um, um The first Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills yeah, Cop. Yeah, that's, right man, that, that's, that, that's 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 up there. Was that the first Eddie Murphy movie? I don't know if that was first his first movie, but it was the first lead movie. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that's that's a classic. That's a classic. My favorite movie of all time is uh, Trading Places. That's oh, okay, one. okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great one too. Yeah, but that's him and yeah, uh, Dan Aykroyd. So go ahead. Uh, Coneheads. 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 Dan Aykroyd. Right? <laughs> yeah, Dan Aykroyd. There yeah, you that go. That Conehead. Oh, great, 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 See? great, great movie. Dan Aykroyd is brilliant. Uh, um, and then you got, you got um um another one was uh. Oh God! Old school with Old Will Ferrell and um, a bunch of guys in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old they went school. back to college and they and they they're all old and they started yeah, yeah. a fraternity and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's a classic. That right. is a. That's, I love Will Ferrell. Say, that is love, your top five. Yeah, is that four I love or five? comedy. I love comedy. I love action. I don't know. Well, Godfather's kind of action and drama. Yeah, I guess. Um, what's my favorite action? Just action, cause Braveheart's kind of drama too. Mine's Ronan. Ronan, oh, with Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. Oh, that's my favorite action movie for sure. I don't, I don't know. I Mission Impossible. I don't like. I like Tom Cruise. Um, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's just some of the movies <laughs> I like. How about Rocky? Oh, right. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. That action, drama, you know. Rocky uh, 29. Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the, 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 the newer one? Oh, Creed. Creed. Yeah, I did see that. What, pretty what, good, Apollo, man. Apollo, son. I like it. Yeah, I seen that. That was good. I seen them all. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. I liked yeah. it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, That's it was good, great. Man. Yeah, Rocky, Rocky, man. Yo, Adrian! <laughs> yeah. What about Rambo? Rambo was good. Rambo was <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was the one where he was a cop and he had that bad car? Cobra. Cobra. You never oh, seen Cobra? Yeah. yeah, Cobra. Badass. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, Dude, right. I, I yeah, he hooked up. Like with, that. He hooked up with uh with with that girl, Bridget Nielsen. He married her. That's right. Yeah. yeah you he, know what I saw her. She lives out here in the valley, I guess. Are you serious? In Studio City. I saw How her. does she look? Same. She's exactly still hot. The same. Wow. That's, well, what, I mean, that's what money will do closer, to you, folks. That's if what you money look closer, you can see. Yeah, like, yeah, know, but yeah. She's still fit. Wow. She doesn't look like you know fat wow. or anything. Yeah. And she was with this dude that was young. <laughs> oh yeah. My age. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know that's that's what they do these days. <laughs> if you're not married or whatever, you you know, get a young girl or get a young guy. I guess I, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll never get to that stage. I don't <laughs> think so. 
I got a good wife. We got a good understanding. So, you know. But yeah, she looked decent. I mean, for her, for her age, she's probably sixties. At least sixties, yeah. Cause yeah. Stallone's in his sixties. Yeah. Yeah. So she definitely, you know. Yeah. It's fit. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone. Great guy. G- good movies, man. He's made some really good movies over the years. Yeah. You know what I yeah. saw the other night? Uh, in the, in the, in Indiana Jones. Ooh. I love those. Yeah. Yeah. Those are classics. Yeah. Which one's your favorite one? Ooh, man. The one with him and his dad. The, 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 the Raiders. Dad, the dad, the dad, the dad was played by no, Sean. No, no, Sean Connery was his dad. Both of them. Yeah. Wait. Was, was it, it Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark or Raiders. something like something like that? That's yeah, the last one. Yes, and um, that's yeah, him where and his dad. They go and find the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. Right. Dude, I used to watch those all the time. Really? I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah. That came out. I was like seven years old or something. You know? Yeah, and then all the Star Wars. Seen all of them. I used to be really into. Oh, you know what? Star Trek. I, I can't leave Star Trek out. Star Trek was... Some, grew up watching I grew up watching Star Trek. On TV. Yeah, on TV. Yeah, yeah. started with TV, and then the movies came out. Yeah. Yeah. So your, your dreams are full of green, hot girls. I want, no, hot I, want, no I, wanted to be on, I wanted to be on that ship, you know, with, <laughs> with them doing something, you yeah. know, in the engine room, you know, yeah. uh, pilot, doing something on that well, ship. Well, you ended up in the engine room. Yeah, I did it, but not on, not on, not, not on the... Uh, on a... Um, Spacecraft on an actual ship. I did in an actual it. Navy ship. Yep, I did. I did. The U.S. Navy. Yep. What was your ship? Um, first ship was was uh the USS Prairie AD fifteen. This was uh called a destroyer tender, which in layman's terms is a repair ship. And what we did is we uh, went around from port to port, working on other ships that needed repairs. Ah. Yep. Ah. So. That's first ship, and then the second ship so, I was on was uh, the USS Ogden. Um, that was uh, a transport ship, whereas the front of the ship it would open up like a mouth, uh, and then your, your tanks and all that could just go right on the sand, and the Marines could just. Was it a big ship? Yeah, it was big. Uh, it was big. That's that. So only, I was only on two ships, it. but there, you know, aircraft carrier man. Aircraft carrier is so big, you get lost. You've been inside. Yeah, yeah, I've been on. Yeah, yeah, you know. Wow. Hook up with some guys and hey, man, let me let's check out the ship, man. Let me check it out. <laughs> you know, give you a little tour. Yeah. You know, but man, it's yeah. But it was peacetime though. Yeah, it was peacetime when I went in. I went in in the eighties, and uh, the only thing that happened when I was in was the uh, the Isla Tola Khomeini. He had the hostages in Iran. Oh, so what happened? And so uh, the United States went over there, tried to rescue them. Yeah. They, they sent them, the first SEAL team they sent in, they didn't come back. Ah. They got, they got wiped out. But then the second one came in, and then the, they sent another team in, and they rescued them. The, but, that was the embassy, right? That was, no, this was in Iran. Right, the uh, U.S. Maybe embassy. The em- maybe they were... No, they were. They couldn't have been the embassy because they were. They were kidnapped. They had them kidnapped. So, oh, oh okay. Uh, where they were, well, I forgot where they had them hostage or whatever. But um, yeah, they, yeah. Navy went in there and got them. Six guys, just six guys. That's on the SEAL team. Well, six well, like six, supermen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I couldn't do that. Yeah, what they do? Six badass dudes. These dudes, man. Crazy. Oh my God! Crazy lunatics. Yeah, yeah. Train killers. Yeah. yeah. What was uh? Would you? What were you up to in the navy? Oh, everything. I wasn't married then. I was single. <laughs> and uh, young like man, sailor. young man in his twenties. You know, just full of beans. Never been <laughs> over. Never been overseas before. Never seen. Really, anything outside the United States, and yeah, man, we get overseas. They see buck wild, man. Wow, wow, in the 80s, we, yeah. We went to there were a, no camera, went to Hawaii then. at first, and that's my first time going to Hawaii. And it's like, wow, Honolulu? so beautiful, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. We we're, we're, we're actually at Pearl Harbor. That's right. what that's what we docked at. And then Whoa. from Pearl Harbor, you you can get on a bus, get a cab, whatever, and just you know go or yeah. go to another island or whatever, you know. Yeah. But uh, man, so beautiful, so uh, what such a beautiful place to go. It yeah. sure is. Yeah, it really is. But then it's crazy too. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, Wait, why it's would a, you see us? It's a tourist. <laughs> what would you do? It's just a, it's a oh. tour. It's a tourist trap. You're you know? there. More more often though, right? Yeah, I've been yeah, I've been yeah. to Hawaii maybe like three, four times. Uh, I had uh, my oldest daughter; she lived in Hawaii for the longest. Yeah, right. So we would go over every other year and, and visit her. That was nice. our little vacation, you know. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Where where at? Oh, she lived on the on the Big Island. Yeah, but we went all over. Uh, um, you been have been have you been to Hawaii? Twice, yeah. Honolulu. Have you ever been to uh, Turtle Beach? You never been to Turtle Beach, huh? Uh, yeah. I've been there to Waikiki is this, Beach. There is this beach in Hawaii. These giant turtles, right? They yeah. come out the water and they come right out, right on the sand and they come right up to you. No way. Right to you. Wow. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely got, get. We definitely got. To get and they got the Hawaii. luau. They got the yeah. luau's and all. I'm sure. I'm sure you went to the luau and all that. No, I was. You never been to a luau? No. Oh God, yeah, yeah, it's great. They yeah. do all the dancing and everything. No, I didn't yeah. stay at a resort or anything. I have family out there, so I stayed at oh, my yeah. uncle's house. Well, I stayed at my daughter's house. Mm, well, you, we, you know, we went here, we went there. Yeah. 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 Been to Pearl Harbor? Yeah. I saw the memorial in all right, 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 yeah. Right. Crazy. Right. You can see the Arizona sticking up. Yeah, right so my in. uncle that lives out there, he saw he lives on the hill that overlooks Pearl Harbor. Oh so man! He saw it. Your uncle was there when it, when, when it went down. Yeah, he was a kid. Wow. And he still lives in the same house. You know? Wow. Yeah. He still lived in the same house from Pearl Harbor. Well, he's. He's, wow. he's dead now, but uh, yeah, well, that, that house has been in your family yeah. for generations now. Yeah, yeah. So wow, that's wow, that's so great. He saw it go down, man. He seen the yeah, he seen the planes coming and everything. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then when he grew Could you up, imagine that he grew up. He had to fight in uh, Korea, which was the gnarliest war. Yeah, Korea. Yeah, Korea was pretty bad. Yeah, they're all bad. I mean, yeah. Vietnam was just. For some reason, we're always going somewhere and getting in somebody else's business. Because somebody you is know? making money out of it. Yeah, maybe. That's why. Maybe. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least these uh, YouTube videos say that. I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, they, they, they do make money. Oh, yeah. All your, you know. All yeah, your, like I heard, your, like. Uh, like big a, corporations, uh, North They have, they and, have, yeah, yeah. No, they, they make. Not just that. Like, just to have a troop, the troops out there. Yeah. Like they have McDonald's out there and stuff in the base or whatever. It costs the government like twenty bucks for a Big Mac. Wow, really? Yeah, if that. You yeah. know what I mean? Probably more. Hey, McDonald's is everywhere. Yeah. I mean, Even in, in yeah. Everywhere. I mean in every country. You probably can go it's probably not a country where there's not a McDonald's probably now, by now. You're, you're imagine, right. You're I would, right. I would imagine, you know. You're right. I yeah. went to uh, a lay layover in China. Yeah. And they had McDonald's there, so I looked at the menu, right? And they don't have any, it's nothing like McDonald's. No, it's just got it's the nothing name. Like, got the, it's got wait, the name. So what they had was like. Did they have noodles and rice? No, it had like skewers of chicken and like. What? Yeah. It didn't have Big Macs or uh, no sandwiches. Like it had one sandwiches, a sandwich. It wow. was a filet of fish, I think. Maybe it was a, the only thing they had was a filet of fish. Yeah, okay. That that you know, and yeah. everything else is like what? Yeah. In China, dude. Yeah, I, I've been to China. Been oh to, yeah. Yeah, I've been to Hong Kong. Yeah, I had a I had a suit made in China while I was there because the suit chicken. It's oh really yeah, yeah. Get, it's really cheap yeah, to get clothes. Yeah, it's like clothes. tailored. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's really cheap to get clothes over there. Yeah. So I had a suit. Where it is now, who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Navy was a good. You know, it was a growing experience for me as a young kid. You know, not really being responsible. 
not knowing anything about life really. It taught me how to how to take care of myself. Yeah, you know. Why didn't you play music in the navy? I didn't go in to play uh, for for some reason. I went in to get a trade because I said, oh. "Well, if the music thing doesn't pan out, what I'm going to do is Plan B." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I um I went and get a trade. That's why I became um a boiler tech, which led me to be, uh, become a oil a oil lab technician, where you test the oil and you refuel other ships and all that. And that led me into getting a job at the LAX as an aircraft fueler, because I knew how to do right. that. Right. So that's you what know? you did after the Navy. Yeah, I did that. Um, and then I was on the um, like the special the special team. It's like, what if a nuclear bomb hits the ship, and you have Boy. to go in and and salvage what, what whatever's left. You know, you put on these these, these nuclear suits and everything, and. Yeah, oh, it was crazy. For what? In the airport? In, in the navy. Oh, in the navy. Yeah. What yeah. if? A, what if like a, uh, a a a a nuclear torpedo or whatever it hits the ship? Yeah. It doesn't completely destroy it. It just it just wounds it so bad that it, it it can't it can't go anywhere. In the meantime, there's people still on the ship still alive that are getting exposed to all that radiation and everything. So they have teams. They go in and try to save many, as many people as they can. So I, w- I did that too. You know, there's not too many jobs out here in the real world for that because uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't that has never happened here. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, I did that. Um, but mainly, I just went in to get a trade. And yeah. I, I, I kind of put the music on the back on the on the back burner. Uh, you didn't. You weren't yeah. doing it then. Yeah. Plus, also, I went into uh, the cleanup, man. Cause right before I went into service, I started getting the drugs really bad. Uh, and uh, like that what? Kinda, ooh, let me see. Before I went in, I think uh, the last drug probably was PCP. It probably was PCP that I got that uh, I got into, and um. PCP. Uh, one of my best friends. So we were that's in a hallucinogen, right? It's a, it's elephant tranquilizer. That's what so it is. You, does, does it any like how, you feel like how a zombie, you, basically? But uh, what happened was uh, like, how does how does this feeling a zombie like feeling like a zombie? Feel I, don't like, how, I, I, I don't know how I don't know how in your mind you think that's cool, that's cool to feel like that, but yeah. that's a, that you know that's what stage I was in as far as drugs, and what happened was. Uh, there was this group called LTD, and the main singer in the group, he had a nephew, and he played the sax. So me and his nephew, we formed a band, ah. and we would play. This was before the, the Navy. Before the Navy, yeah, yeah. We would play, and but what happened is, like I said, we started doing different drugs and everything. We smoked some PCP one, one night. And he never came down. Never? He stayed high permanently. Until now? To this day. What do you mean? I mean, he just, he stayed in that, in that zombie state. His mind just snapped. No way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, yeah. He just. Just not... permanently high. How? Like... I don't know. I don't know. How. No, but how does he uh, behave? Oh, he's in a home. Huh. He's in a home. Since then? Yeah, since then. Yeah. Damn. And. When I seen that happen to him, I was like, no, man, I, 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 I can't, you know, I can't go out like that. PCP. PCP. So it was getting big back then. Oh, yeah, it was, it, that was your drug of choice in, in the hood back then. That was before crack and all that. Ah. Yeah. So that was what... right after the, uh, that was right around the same time that uh, the cocaine was going, the powder, you know. Yeah. Everybody was, to- was, 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 was snorting cocaine, too. So they put it on the cigarettes like they do now, the PCP. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, or you could dip it. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Um, so what does it feel like? Like I say, you feel like a zombie. What do you mean? Like you, I, like you eat, can't move. You you're eat just people? like <laughs> <laughs> you're just stuck. <laughs> you're just stuck. You like can't, you're paralyzed. Yeah, you really can't do nothing. You can't really talk. 
You know, you, oh, dog, he's trying to talk. It's, you know, it's wow. bad. So you don't really hallucinate. You can't drive? No, you, you, you don't. You I, you don't know, trip out. Well, you do. You Some people do trip out. Oh, okay. You know, they get um, super hot flashes. They want to take off all their clothes. Yeah. You know, run down the street butt naked. You know, yeah. I don't know. I, I never, me, I never, it, yeah. it never did me like that. Yeah. So I don't know. It just, it got me. You just no, passed but out. Like tripping, like visuals or like. No, that was that. acid. Yeah. That was acid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like that. You no, know, it's not, it's not, it's not hallucinogenic. Okay. Like I said, it's a tranquilizer. Ah. An elephant tranquilizer. Can you imagine if, if, if this shit tranquilizes elephants, what's this going to do to a human being? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the shit you were, you were fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah and, uh, it came in liquid form. It came in uh, powdered form. And um, it came in pill form. Most of the drugs come in come three different ways. Whoa. You know? So, wow. So, did it Even feel marijuana. different? Marijuana did it feel different like, when you... Like, uh, in different ways? Feels oh, different. yeah. Very different. Very, 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 very Interesting. different. Interesting. Um, wow. That's, uh, so, that's why... Uh, made you super horny. Whoa! Yeah. How long did it last? The high, the high? Yeah. Hours. Wow. Yeah, a couple of hours or whatever. Yeah, but when once it once once it starts wearing off, you're just like so so horny. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so you know that was kind of a uh, uh, easy way to get girls too, because. You yeah. and the girl hook up, you can smoke, and then after you, yeah, she's horny after you smoke, hell. you're horny, she's horny. Yeah, yeah like, you know, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why James Brown was into it, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so, you know, God rest his soul, but that was his drug of choice. That's what I understand. Yeah, yeah. PCP. PCP. Uh, yeah, but, I, you know, I, I started out, you know, started out with uh with marijuana, you know, um, 16 years old, you know, my friends, you know, um, I'll never forget his name, Mark McCullough, <laughs> white boy. Mark McCullough, dude. Yeah, Mark McCullough. <laughs> his brother was was, was a neighborhood uh, weed dealer, <laughs> right? And uh, hooked up with Mark, and, you know, we started smoking. So I went home, you know, because I really had a good, real tight bond with my mom. Yeah. And I, you know, hey, mom, you know, I got something. I don't know if it's good or it's bad. You know, I started smoking weed, Mom. She's like, oh, yeah, really? You started smoking weed now, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. That's interesting. She said, reach underneath the the bed and pull that shoebox out. And she had her weed in I there. pulled the shoebox <laughs> out and opened it up full of weed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Mom, what's this? <laughs> she said, son, I've been smoking weed since you was born. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, the mom said, you know how to roll? I was like, yeah, I know how to roll. Roll the joint. So we'll roll us a joint. Damn. Roll the joint. And me and my mom sat there and smoked it. Because <laughs> she wanted to deserve me, how I, you know, how I acted after I got high. Uh, you know, because some people, they get all silly. They get all yeah. stupid and crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. doing crazy things. I was cool. From the beginning, I was cool. Yeah. She told me, I can't tell you not to smoke because I smoke myself. But one thing I want you to do, if you do smoke, continue to smoke, I want you to smoke at home. I don't want you out in the streets. That's you know? right. So, yeah. from Nothing that point on, I had the coolest house in the, in the, in the neighborhood. Because <laughs> all the guys that smoked, guess where they were coming? <laughs> they were coming to Willie's house because they bombed and let them smoke at home. Yeah, Whoa. so they all kill. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah how all the friends. That's how Willie Will started. <laughs> that's how it started, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's all the party and the the plan and all that. That's all that. That's where that all came from. Yeah, yeah. At your house used to. At, yeah, at our house. Yeah, that the, the kids. You got the coolest parents in the world. Your mom yeah, and dad put a, put a band so, together. Yeah, together. yeah. Put a band together since. Uh, man, I was. I had we, actually we had a elementary school. Probably was a uh, my first experience at uh performing it wasn't a band it was just it was three of us and we were uh 
how do you 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 put the record on and you 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 mimic what they're what, what they're singing or whatever? Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> it was uh, what well, I'm trying to think of the name of that song. It was Archie. They, they, this group called Archie Bell and the Dells, and the song was called Tighten Up. And me and these three guys, we we did uh, we did the routine, and I was Archie Bell, and uh, that was my first introduction, being on the stage and performing. Oh, in front nice! Of, performing, in, and then later you on, performed. Yeah, later on we did. Uh, I did. Uh, I like a dance. There was this. Uh, there was this fine hot girl in the sixth grade, and uh, they were doing uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And she was Little Red Riding Hood. Uh -huh. I said, man, I got to get that part. So, of course, <laughs> I had to be the Big, big Bad, Bad Wolf. wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's what got me into, I guess, in, in the entertainment thing. I wasn't playing any instruments then, you know. Yeah. You just, See, I just love being in front of people, all, yeah. you know, from the beginning. There you go. And then later on, I, you know, I got I, I um. Uh, Discovered That's the, why it's natural. Yeah, I discovered the percussion, the congos and all that, and I just fell in love with that right away. I knew that, that that's, this is my instrument right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Do you know that, I'm not sure if that's the exact definition of conga, but they say in Cuba that it's the sound of thunder. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, in, in Africa before, um, there was a, a, I guess, f uh, a way to communicate, smoke signals or whatever. They could communicate it with the with the kungas, with the drums, with the stuff. drums and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a way to uh, communicate to the other tribes or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they, yeah. they just partied all night long. Oh man, with amazing. drums too. You know? Amazing. Imagine just like. Drum circles and the you know, fire. That beat for that, like that's, thousands of years. People yeah. doing that, you know what I mean. That's got to be on, on on my bucket list to go to Africa and sit down and do a drum circle well, with those it, really. with those cats over there, man. Oh, that would be oh man. If ever we get to go Africa, Africa uh, Cuba, Cuba would be nice to go to. Oh yeah, yeah. I bet. I amazing bet the music, music out there amazing. is just crazy. Oh man. yeah, just on the street. Yeah, just like yeah. And Jamaica, South, of course. Jamaica, yeah, definitely have to go to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure like they got crazy like rappers on the street. Oh yeah, like, going nuts. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Out here too, man. There's a lot of talent here. That's a lot of talent. You can you can go on Hollywood Boulevard. And you see those guys on the street. Some of those guys got a a lot, a lot of talent. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, they just don't. You know, they don't. They haven't figured out how to get it. How to sell it. How to process it. How to get. You know, how, how to how to get it out there. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, we did the busking too. Yeah, yeah, we did that. We did that. that I was mean, what do you think about maybe doing it one once? Well, I mean, we should have did it this summer too. Yeah. We should have went somewhere and did it this Maybe summer. even just once, you know, once yeah. a year. Just to, for the fuck of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll never forget that 4th of July. That was cool, man. Which one? The, the first of, one or the, first the second one. one? The first yeah, one. Yeah, the first one. The first one was great. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. And even uh, the uh, the Donald Trump rally. Right. Downtown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a oh, guys, you should have seen it. There was this giant, giant thing, giant uh, blow up doll of uh, 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 Donald, Donald Trump. Trump, and he had the Ku Klux Klan uh, hood on. on. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, so funny. So <laughs> funny. I wish I still had pictures of that. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, you guys did a, uh, uh, what's the name, a uh, rally? Uh, um, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie rally. Sanders rally. Yeah. Yeah, we bust at a Bernie yeah. Sanders rally. And that was like going to a Grateful Dead show. Really? Yeah. Or or like uh yeah, it was just all cool people that went and you think, it, it you think Bernie's gonna stadium. think Bernie's gonna try to run again or is he too old? I mean I he's pretty old now then. 
Now he's old, four years older. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that was it, huh? Yeah, I mean, and he probably got paid off. Like, yeah. To not ever try that shit again. You Maybe know, so. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump won again. Yeah, That's, I mean. You know, I was shocked the first time. The second time, I'm not going to be <laughs> so much shocked. But like, oh, yeah, well. There's a lot of Trump lovers out there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to each his own, you know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not knocking nobody, you know. Well, you know, there's the the two sides of the country. Yeah, and there's all that in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. pretty much me. Yeah, my, you know, I, I, I never right was, there, was really mean? too much into poli- politics. I have never voted in my whole entire life, guys. Not once. Not even for Obama. Not for nobody. I just don't believe in not the, even for Obama. No, I don't. <laughs> I just don't believe in the, in, 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 in politics. Yeah, I mean, I, they're, I, all, I, I, they're all they're like to me. They're all liars. To me, they're like puppets. Yeah, on strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, yeah, you say yeah. one thing and do another. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Is there any yeah. politician that through the years in America that actually you think did a good <sighs> job ever? In his term, as a kid, I was maybe I was naive or whatever, but I always thought Kennedy did a good job, and that's yeah. why they killed him. <laughs> 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 unfortunately, <laughs> when you do a good job in this country, <laughs> you, get shot you get shot in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got shot in the face. Yeah, yeah. The in good front guy, of his wife. The good guys get shot. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yes. Yeah. But she remarried. She married a billionaire. Right. Yes, you know. And uh Yeah. She had a good life. Yeah. She, she had a good life. After yeah. seeing her head her yeah, husband's yeah, after seeing head her husband head blown exploded. off. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that that was bad. And then his then his brother got killed. So how, how old were you with the Vietnam when uh, a war uh, was going on? Vietnam? I was right. You're I was in young. I was in high school. Okay, so I was in high school then. So you missed the draft. I, I yeah. Yeah, I missed the draft. So thank that God. That was gnarly. Yeah, cuz I I volunteered to go into service. That was my choice. Yeah. But that was after Vietnam. Right. You know, peace time though. Yeah, right. I I didn't, you know. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't trying to go to Vietnam. You know, yeah. I see some older cats come back from Vietnam, and they that they, was didn't, they didn't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, to say the least. You know, I saw I saw I, I saw a couple of videos on YouTube about like the Vietnam War, and like so basically in all of all the wars, fucking USA just kicks the fucking ass, kicks fucking ass every time. And that was the only war that they lost. Yeah, they lost. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I was watching, like, how they won. Like, how did they win? They had the gnarliest ways to win. Yeah. They had, like, booby trap. Like, the yeah, whole jungle they, was booby trap. They went into trapped. a jungle. We weren't. And there was full of booby traps. There's no jungle here. Yeah. There's you no, you can't city see, the, you can't you see like. Like ten feet in front of you because it's just trees. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. Just full of booby traps. Yeah, and like they had like um, like these f- traps that your feet just go into, and it's just like full of spikes. And yeah, like gnarly, sh- gnarly, gnarly. Yeah, stuff, man. Yeah, they were smart. Yeah, very, very, very smart. Yeah, we went into their backyard. <laughs> yeah, and, and thought we could and, and thought we could <laughs> adapt to that, <laughs> and, and we like, couldn't. You know, because you know. The draft, when you're drafted, everybody's drafted. There, you know, there's right. not. There's not uh, so you. Knew, oh, well, you, you know, dudes it's not that, like you're saying, "Well, we want this guy, we want this you know guy." Dudes in your high school, you draft went, yeah, you draft everybody. Yeah. Draft. Everybody's going. Yeah. If you don't go, you're going to jail. Yeah. You know, so they took everybody. So they uh, most of these guys that went. They were their minds were not nowhere prepared for what they what they're about to see. Yeah, and then it's like going to another planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know they didn't have TV to back like to know about how the jungle looked. Well, they had TV, but the, you know they're not going to show that. It's censored. 
Yeah, you know, but very, you, very. you don't know how I mean, like. Oh, the, oh, to me, to, oh, to, to prepare you to yeah, go over there. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. You know, no. crazy. And then they had they dug tunnels through the jungle for twenty five years, and they had full on cities underneath the ground. So if they, so if something does happen, they. No, that's where they. That's where that's they where, lived. That's where they lived. That's why you can't, you couldn't find them. Yeah, and then the GIs had to go in these little tunnels. Yeah, and it was full of booby traps. Right, and it was like this tall. Right, because the Vietnamese the are little are small. Dudes. Yeah, yeah, right. But the you know the Americans were huge, so they had to like go in there and yeah. with like a pistol, and then try to fight. In those tunnels Man, that's crazy, man Crazy With crazy. booby traps Yeah Like that, dude I'm not going in there <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Somebody saying I just seen Fred going in He didn't come <laughs> back, man Now you want me to go in there? Are you crazy? Yeah. Hell no Crazy shit they had to do, man I want to discharge right now <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fuck Yeah, that's crazy Being Yeah, crazy. yeah Crazy Crazy Yeah all I can say is, I um, because when I grew up as the I hope 80s, there's not. I hope, I hope we don't have any more wars. I hope we don't. That's just how they make money, man. Yeah, you know, because if we do keep having wars, eventually it's gonna they don't be, want... it's gonna be a war here, possibly one one day. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really been with, um, just Pearl Harbor. Yeah, that was just you know, that was like a a ba- uh, just a, a, a band aid on, on on the country. Yeah. You nine eleven. That wasn't you know, that yeah. wasn't really a, a. That was a big thing, but it wasn't you know like army. Ho- the whole you know, the whole state of Texas is wiped out, or the the whole New York is gone, or it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not like, like like we have done to the, some of these other countries, or like yeah, like France. We definitely did Germany some and crazy man, stuff. Man, this this toll. I I ran and uh, and then. Afghanistan, man, we ain't tore them countries up, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, just, you know, there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing there. Yeah. You know? The the Middle East used to, I guess in the 70s, right, 60s, yeah. the Middle East used to be pretty nice. Yeah, yeah it was right? nice. It's like Beirut and like they had like, like all these nice cities and now it's all just crumble. It's rubble. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So what they do is they blow it all up. And then they go in and say, "We we we will rebuild it." Yeah, and then put we'll, yeah, and put then put our people, our, our own people in there, and make money off exactly. of it. Exactly. After we the ones that tore it up, isn't that isn't that crazy? That's how you make money, like <laughs> so ridiculous amounts. Of money. Oh like, my god! That's how you take over a country without taking. It yeah, 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 yeah. Financially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you you own all the land and everything. No, you own the financial institutions. Yeah. Well, that's what the YouTube videos say, at least. <laughs> yeah, that, I, 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 tend I to, believe it. Though. I tend to believe that too. <laughs> I tend to believe that too. But, it, um, yeah. I mean, war. I mean, crazy. Yeah, crazy. Crazy killing and all that. Oh but, man! Thank least, God I, I never had to shoot anybody or kill anybody. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but you were fixing ships. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was you, working on. I was working. You know, I, I was repairing stuff. You know, not to say that I don't know how to use a weapon. I was training for weapons and all that, but yeah, I just never had to use them. Yeah, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Well. yeah it was pretty, pretty fun, pretty fun. Yeah, going here, going there. Girls going crazy. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. yeah. Oh my God! Unbelievable. So you there's know, little, gonna, little willies yeah, running around. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I mean, you, you know, some of these countries, you, they treat you like a king because you're from the. For some reason, they because you're from the you United take States. America. They think you. you they, they, yeah, yeah. They think you Donald Trump or somebody. <laughs> He's got all the money in the world. You know, <laughs> take me with you. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy. And then, what'd you do after Navy? 
I like I said, I, I started working at the uh, at the airport. Oh right, at right. LAX. I was. You at, started. I was music uh, aircraft. Again. I was aircraft fueler. You started music again. Uh, I started music up uh, right after that. Oh, uh, me and uh, me and a couple other guys, we started a percussion band, just strictly percussion. Oh, nice. Yeah, we started that. Uh, didn't really get a whole lot of work out of that, you know. It's not a real big demand for <laughs> for, for, for percussion, but I started playing again. That was the main thing. Yeah, and um, had my first kid, and uh, just you know, just trying to live to live li- live life. You know, how many bands have you been in? I don't know. I would say maybe about six, six, seven. Through my whole for my, yeah. for my whole career, yeah, maybe about like six or seven bands, but different types, you know, R and B band, jazz band, percussion yeah. band, rock band, <laughs> yeah, you know, all kungas, yeah, but all, always kungas, yeah, always kungas, and I never sang, I oh, never yeah? sang, I I never sang until the band the band before this one. I, st- I I that was the first time I, I I sang, yeah. You know, and uh, and now with you guys, man, Jesus Christ, I'm singing everything now. You well, know? you're natural, Willie. I man. guess that's what you guys tell me. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a challenge. It's yeah. a challenge, you know, because the thing about music, it it's always new levels to go to. You never can know everything in music. Never. Never. There's always something to learn. There's always something new to yeah, do. Always get, it's you can always, always get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah always. Yeah. Always. I'm talking about the masters, the masters of, of, they still of the keep world. Going. They still keep going because they're still learning. Yeah. You know, they, and they, they, they see somebody like, hey, I never tried to do that. What did he, how, did he, how did he do that? And, and you know, yeah. yeah. So, another beer? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Y'all you got take Corona. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna take a quick pause. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, guys. Here, grab the mic. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. We're back. Yeah. Um, I got I got him a uh, Corona. Yeah, he's got the I Corona. I have no more beer, so I'm, I'm good. Yeah, um, wine. I want to go. I, I want to go back and tell, uh, talk about a little bit about um, my history of gro- uh, growing up a little bit. Oh yeah. Now, I told you before, I, I never was in a gang, but my cousins and all that they were in gangs. And, uh, no way. Yes, they were. Oh. So they kind of, you know, I, I kind of hung out with them. And I was kind of like a wannabe gang member, but I wasn't, you know, because I hung out with them. I was cool with all the other, all the rest of the gang Are they guys. Still in the gang? They're all dead now. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Because of violence. Because of violence, prison, and Whoa. this and that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, back in the day, you used to have these house parties every weekend, free house parties. Mm-hmm. You know, you could, you could go to different neighborhoods and yeah. you find a party. Different and gangs would be thrown in. Different gangs would throw them or different people or whatever. And um, you cool, you know, you got in. Yeah. You know? So uh, that's what we do on the weekends. It used to, that used to be our, uh, that used to be one of the sayings on the weekend. Hey, where's the, where's the sets at this weekend? Mm. And then, you know, everybody, hell yeah, there's a party over here on 69. There's a party over in Wilshire. There's a party, oh, you know? So you get all you get all this info, yeah. You know, and then uh, when Friday came, yeah, that's, that's, where, that's where the girls are at. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what you did, you know. So uh, hanging out with my uh, my cousins and all that, gang banging, yeah, crips. yeah, gang banging, Crips, Bloods, whatever the heck they were. Uh, we didn't have a car, yeah. So uh, we stole a car. <laughs> <laughs> Cars were easy to steal back then. How'd you do it? With uh, well, how do we steal that car? With a screwdriver. With a screwdriver. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> back 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 then, it, you know, a lot, of, a, a lot of a lot of just you pop the ignition. 
You put it in the ignition and, and pop it. Because like uh, a key? Like a key. Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about the door? How do you open the door? Uh with a coat hanger. Yeah. The old coat hanger. The old coat hanger, yep. Because a, a lot of people they had, you know, there were sixty cars then. Sixty four, sixty five, mm. sixty whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't like now, you know. It's easy. Yeah, yeah, super easy. <laughs> Screwdriver. So, yeah, so we, we, we like a key. We stole this car, and uh, back then, uh, uh, our, our drink of uh, I think it's sixty four Malibu or something. Anyway, they wanted me to drive. You know. Yeah. Because I had my license. Yeah. You know, sixteen, whatever. And so uh, we're driving. And our drink of choice back then was uh, Old English 800. Mm, oh now, yeah. now, kid, I don't know if you ever had this. Oh my God, I, I, I wouldn't yeah. recommend. I wouldn't recommend this to no one because this stuff Old is English? bad, bad. Yeah, dude. it's uh, 40, right? Yeah, 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 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll put you in a bad spot, Jack. Yeah. You drink enough of it? Yeah, I drank it. Oh, you drank a whole 40 ounce? Hmm. Maybe not a whole 40. I, I could never finish them. I could never really? Them. Man, I've seen guys go like to two and three and four. Of them. I'd be so full. I'm yeah. A, I'm a little guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. I mean, like, I'd be yeah. so full. Like, it's like a, a gallon of beer. Wow. So anyway, we're riding around, drinking Old English 800, and uh, go to a party, have a good old time. Now, Maya, I've been drinking all this time. We get ready to leave. And they say, yeah, you drive. And I, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm drunk by then. I'm really drunk. Get behind the wheel. <laughs> I start the car up. Uh-huh. And I ran right into the car right in front of me. Oh, man. The, park, the car just parked right in front of me. This is Bam! Af- after the party? Yeah, we, we're leaving the party. Yeah. We're leaving the party to go yeah. somewhere else or whatever. Get in the car. We all get in the car. Start the car up. <laughs> I, and I go forward. Bam! Hit the car in front of me hard. We all jump out the car and we run. Because yeah. the car's stolen. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so we go. So it's it's smashed? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's smashed. Oh, we jumped man. out. Grabbed our stuff. Got, jumped out. We run. Walking. You know. So what do we do? Stole go go steal another car. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad. Bad. What a night. And you're... What? And, you're and I'm up. drunk. I'm I'm pissy drunk. Damn. While all this is going on, cause we're drinking this old English, man. Oh man, yeah, but uh, yeah. So, I, I, I back to what you were saying about about kids being influenced by uh by the street life and all that. I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy to get caught up in that. Yeah, it's real easy it's to get caught. Yeah, you, you just like get caught up, man. Yeah, you're yeah. hanging out with the bad boys, you know? Because yeah. you don't want to hang out with the nerds. They ain't doing, <laughs> they, they ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to go home and study. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's why you, you, you didn't get jumped, Willie. That's why you didn't get jumped. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew all the guys. From yeah. my cousins and all them, I knew all. I was cool with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't have to worry about that, you know? Yeah. So it's a good thing you didn't join them. Yeah. It's a great thing I didn't join them. Because some of the initiations. So what happened? What did it ended up happening to him? Like, uh, and- prison, in and, out of, in and out of prison. And that, I think that took their toll on them. Uh, institutionalized. Uh, Drive-bys, just shot, you know, revenge or whatever. <laughs> they kill somebody on uh, from some gang, and then, then they retaliate, and they come back and you know they kill somebody on the other side. It Crazy just go back shit. and forth. So, you know, I know that L.A. was completely different in the '90s, wasn't it? Oh yeah, completely, completely different. It's like a war zone. Yeah, it was. Like I say, it started at, at, at in the '70s. And um, it just escalated to, you know. Yeah. You couldn't, some neighborhoods you couldn't even go in. In the night. Yeah. yeah. The cops wouldn't even go in there. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, you'll kill the cops. I don't yeah. care. 
Even out here in the you valley, know? right? Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Even in Chinatown, everywhere. I mean, every, <laughs> I mean, there was this, you know, you got you got Asian gangs and all that too. <laughs> and they just the blacks and Mexicans, you know. And then, then, then you got, then you got the white gang. You got skinheads and all that. Those are gangs the too. Bikers. Yeah, the bikers. Those are gangs. Yeah. 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 We did a show for a. Back in the day, we did a show for a bike, the Vagos, it's a bike club, right here in North Hollywood, and uh, they recruited they recruited Vagos. my they, they recruited my my band to play yeah. at, to play at their clubhouse. Wow! Yeah, it how was, was that? Wow! It was wow. Where's their clubhouse? Right there on Lancashire and uh, and Victory. Here? Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. That's what I'm saying. Holy shit. Yeah, there's, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Gang. All right. drug dealers and killers in there. I wonder if it's still there. It's probably like a gentrified like uh, strip mall now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's still there. I don't know. I don't know. That was, that it's was few, right literally. That was a like few years a few back. Yeah, yeah. It's right down there. Yeah. If you go down Lancashire right here, boom. It's right there. There's a. Hmm, it was a club. Biker club. The biker club right there with the Vagos. Biker Clubhouse. Yeah. So only them are allowed in. Yeah, or then that lets you know them. Yeah. You know, like I said, we got recruited by them. We got, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're We got, we know, yeah. You yeah. Got, we got to know them. Uh, and uh, it's like, hey, you guys want to do a show at the clubhouse? Yeah, sure. You know? And yeah. they paid you. They paid us and everything, nice. yeah. Yeah, I see one of the Pacquiao fights there at the clubhouse. We watched yeah. the fight. We yeah, we watched the fight, and then after the fight, we we performed. which one? Which fight? I don't remember which one it was. Mm. Uh, when it, when oh, he they was, were, they were watching I mean, the he, fight. He, yeah, we watched the fight first. Oh. You know, that's how we promoted. The, <laughs> he was fighting that's how Mexican. people. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. the Mexican killer. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. Were they pissed? He won? <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, they were kind of yeah, they were kind of pissed. <laughs> yeah, luckily we didn't have any Asians in the band. Filipino. <laughs> 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 I think we better go now. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. So how was how was the how's their clubhouse like? What, what goes down? So oh, like, anything, any, anything goes. Like, yeah, anything goes down. What? I mean, you you know. You got the you got the main floor. You got your bar, dance floor, stage, whatever, and then you go up. You and they have an upstairs, yeah. and that's the extreme party in there. That's the naked girls, the drugs, all on the coffee table, Seriously. whatever you want, whatever you want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You go up there, and it's you know like <laughs> wow, really, wow. wow, yeah. That's when I uh. That's the first time I seen the. That's uh, the evil. That's the first time I seen the dab. That's the devil. Life. That's the first time I seen dab. Oh, they're yeah, dabbing. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't think it was called dab. It was called something else back then, but they had uh, they had that in. I remember, uh, like, hey, you want to try this? And I was like, nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but my friend, my friend tried it, and he he passed out. Up <laughs> 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 for one hit, <laughs> he passed out. He hit it, and then he's like, oh. We <laughs> caught him, and it's like, damn. No, nah, I'm good. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that. Yeah. At the biker At the biker. At the good club. Yeah. So, is they doing coke? Everything. Shooting yeah. up right there, everything. What? Everything. Shooting up? Everything. Like I said, you go upstairs, it's a whole different world. It's like gangster shit. Yeah, gangster. Yeah, they were gangsters. Real gangsters. Real shit. gangsters. Real gangsters. Like fuck real them. gangsters. You know, all tatted guns. up, guns everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Bitches. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the broads are just as crazy as the guys. Damn. You know? Just as crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was like they were hot too, but. You were scared to hit on them, you know, for gonna... fear of these guys. You know, maybe it's yeah. that. Maybe that's the guy's lady, or yeah, or he yeah. know. You know, yeah. hey, I don't want no trouble here. I just want to, you know, perform, get paid, and, yeah. and get the hell out of here. Damn. Yeah. 
Was that one of the yeah. craziest shows? Yeah. What's the, what's the craziest show you ever played, Willie? Ooh, wow. Man, the craziest show. Oh, man. Probably in high, probably not high school. Was it high school? Yeah, high school. Now, like I said, my mom and dad were the coolest parents. Um, they let us perform. We had a party. Yeah. They let my band perform at the party. And in the middle of the performance, the cops came. Right? Yeah. I swear to God, everybody in the party, I had a, 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 a huge backyard, but at the end of the yard, was it, there was a, it was a wall. At night. It was, yeah, okay, at night. Yeah. It was a wall. And you jump over the wall, you go into somebody else's yard. Uh-huh. Everybody in this party started jumping over the wall, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get away from they the cops, warrants? man. They yeah, <laughs> they're trying to get away from the cops. I'm like, man, <laughs> it's just the cops. They just want to turn. There's no need to run. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody <laughs> running for? It ain't Godzilla. Is that worse? Yeah, yeah, yeah some. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hundreds. We, it was a big party. Hundreds. Whoa. <laughs> like, wow, wow. The neighbor's wow. like, what the hell? What the hell's what going the on? What the hell are you? Yeah, yeah. We're all running house. to his yard, house, whatever. <laughs> trying to get away. That probably was one of the craziest ones. That's hilarious. That probably was one of the crazy. Oh my god! And this is in high school. No way. Yeah, this is in high school. Yeah. This is the seventies. Yeah, seventies. Seventies was so cool, <laughs> man. So cool. Yeah. Different times. Yeah. Used to have acid parties. Those were fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? everyone's on everybody, acid. everybody, everybody in the park. You when you when, when you come in, how many you, people? When you, maybe like thirty. Damn. Um, when, like you, when, you, when you when you walk to the door, a different world. Somebody's at the door, and they like they give you a tab wow. right there. And you you Damn. drop it. You know, thirty minutes later, you, it's a different yeah. world. <laughs> yeah. So what's the what's the gnarliest shit you ever done? In a th- Ever seen a thirty person acid party? At an acid party? Yeah. The craziest thing probably. Oh, probably my friend, the acid it reacted to now we had parties, not all the time, but he was a veteran. Uh, For some reason, this batch it didn't. It didn't react like the other ones. Yeah, really and he got tight. super, super paranoid that he thought he was gonna die. Right, oh, so man. he's drinking like he's literally drinking gallons of milk, or to, to try to come down. Yeah, and, and nothing, nothing's fucking working. Nothing's working. Damn. You know, he's sitting there. He's like, dude, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing flowers blooming. I'm seeing grass growing. I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm seeing all that. He's like, I, I'm like, yeah, I see it too. <laughs> <laughs> but you're but having I ain't a good tripping. time. But you're I ain't tripping like you, though. Come on, man. <laughs> Snap out of it, man. No, I'm, I got to come down. I got to come down. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. That, that was really, really crazy. Man, I, I mean. Yeah, it's mostly fun as hell, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No. 70s We're in bell bottoms Oh yeah All that uh, Platform shoes Yeah Darshikis I still got the Darshikis To this day um, <laughs> The right. big afros Do you have big a big a- Do you have a big afro? Like, I had a big afro Yeah, yeah I did I did have a big, big afro back then Yeah I did How did you care for it? A, I mean you did With a pick With a pick All day long you're just Yeah like, all day Yeah You're, you're combing it out You know <laughs> Yeah, they, they, was it all perfect? Then you put your pick in the in the, in, the, in, the, in the top, and they, and they had those picks with the with the with with, with the fists like this. Damn, so the fists was sticking that's out. Sick, you're, all cool. man. you're all cool and shit. You know? Do you yeah. still have one? And then they then they, then they had these other picks. They were called cake cutters, uh-huh. right? And that's what they looked like—a cake cutter. It was like a bunch of spikes, but it had a handle on it, and. Uh, 
you can actually hurt somebody with these bad boys. Oh, that you can okay. take it and it's like, oh. hit them in the eye or something. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think they out they, they outlaw those. I, I haven't seen too many of those around anymore. Wow. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, the afro was Stand in. Afro and then after, a, after the afro... It was the Jerry Curl era. Oh and my God! Did, did, yes, I had a Jerry Curl. <laughs> <laughs> did you let your soul glow? Yeah, soul glow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all day long with the spray. <laughs> You know, juice dripping all down on your clothes and all that, <laughs> all on your collar. Oh, that was bad. It was bad. <laughs> and then, it, you know, if you went to the beach like I, like, like I did a lot, it my hair changed colors. It got it started turning all blonde. <laughs> you know, here yeah. I am, a black man with blonde hair, you know. <laughs> like, damn. With a Jerry girl. With a Jerry girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is stupid, you know. <laughs> no, nah, this has got to go. This has got to go, man. This ain't working out. <laughs> this ain't working out. Oh, man. Yes, this is, so this went back to the regular cut. And then, and then like I said, 79, I discovered reggae. Did you get dreadlocks? And of course, I had, yeah, yeah, I had dreadlocks. For dread, real? I had dreadlocks. Oh, man. I had dreadlocks for, for, for a little while there. And then um, I got this job. I, I got this job at uh, a. Uh, shoot, man. I want to say maybe. Oh man, from seventy nine. How long were they on your body? I had dreadlock. I I grew them, then I cut them, then I grew them out again, then I cut them. I say the longest from one period, because it takes a while. It takes a couple of years to actually so you really get out. I say maybe time. like five years. That the longest point. Yeah. The last time I had them was before I got this job. I still had them when I got the job, but the company said. You gotta cut them, no cut way. your cut your dreadlocks off. Yeah, no so I, will. I cut my locks and then that was it. That's the last time I had them. Oh. That was seventeen years ago. Speaking of dreadlocks, how do you like that uh, cover of Reggae Blues? Oh, I see. whoa! Oh wow! Fourth of July, fireworks. Sweet. Only in this neighborhood, folks, you get fireworks. All year long. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Nice. Who the hell? There's some dude it's messing around with some fireworks. No, that's a show. That's, there's no one. That's a show. Is that the high school? That's the high school doing that. Yeah, they, they must have won the, the championship or something. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they must have won the championship. We got a little bit of a... Yeah, because the game's not going on no more. All right. All right! Woo! Yeah, and it, anyway... What, what a treat. Okay, so we went to the Jerry Curl, went to the Dreadlocks. Um, <laughs> like, like I said, the last time I had Dreadlocks was right. <coughs> and... Uh, How long was it in your, to your shoulders? No, it was like uh, Bob Marley in his, in his early stages. Mm. Yeah, I mean that takes years. Yeah, that takes years. Yeah. Like I seen uh, I seen Damon Damian Marley. It's down his dreadlocks feet. was down to the the floor to the floor. Yeah, I mean he's probably had those since he was a kid, man. Yeah, probably. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. 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 So you're straight up reggae, man, dude. Yeah, I mean. Have- when you had your dreadlocks. Dude. Yeah, yeah, because I, like I said, once I once I heard the reggae, I just the the feeling and the spirit and and the message and everything behind it was it was just so positive and 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 and, and so real. Yeah, you know, they were you know they were it, it wasn't like it wasn't like when rap first when rap first came out it was it was educational too because yeah. it told you a lot of things. But now rap is, you know, it's, it's evolved. And, you know, it's all these guys about, talk about, you know, what they got. Yeah, and it's just and about, it's, this is nonsense, yeah. what they're talking about. They ain't talking about helping the people and all that. I, I, I used to love, uh, or... I used to love, like, like Public Enemy. 
Yeah. Oh man, it it, it was positive. Yeah. Exactly. It was a positive rap. It was a good message behind it. KRS One. Um, I mean, it was a bunch of good rappers out there in the, in the beginning, and then and, and gangster rap came out, and yeah. then uh, and, and you know, I it just. You know, I don't know. Now it's just I don't know what it is now. Where you got? I, I, yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't like, know what it is. You know, yeah. you know. There's still some good rappers out there. You know, yeah. Common, Common always has a pretty good message. Nas, you know. Yeah, but those guys are like fifty. Yeah, they're yeah, they're, they're, they're OGs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dr. Dre, whatever he comes out with another album, who knows? Yeah, yeah. These kids I, now. I still like Snoop Dogg. You know? Yeah. Well, these new rappers now have face tats. They just have, like, more and more face tats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's evolved. Just like rock and roll has evolved. Yeah. You know, from the Beatles to this and that. and, that and To what we are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, just like it's, you know. Yeah. Mm. And now you got all these uh, n- these new bands that, you know, names I can't even begin to pronounce or or remember anymore you know how about you know? Uh, uh, any any bands that out here or that we played with that uh stand out to you is pretty good uh majestic uh, play with them they're pretty shout out to moy yeah shout out to moy majestic what up they're pretty, pretty good. Uh, when the boys, Dino Bones, boys. shout out to Dino. What up, Dino? Yeah, he had, he had, pretty, he had Holler, a pretty, Dino. he had a pretty nice band. Oh man, um, uh, the band we we just did a show last week at this uh this thing called uh, Mini Woodstock, and um, there was this one um one um cumbia band. They play cumbia and they play Santana. They're pretty decent. Oh yeah, what's yeah. the name? I don't know what the, I, I, I don't remember the name of them. It was uh, a yeah. band. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Josue. What up? Um, Josue's new band. What's up? Yeah, you guys are pretty dope. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there's been a few. There's been a few bands that you know. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we got a show coming up next ne- next weekend. Matter of fact. Oh, excuse me. With this uh. New band we just hooked up with called uh, Irene Nature, and uh, pretty, they're pretty That's good. That's right, Irene Nature. They're pretty next good. Week, yeah. back to back with King Soul and the Yeah, Bruce. yeah. But uh, you know, I would love to go on stage with Steel Pulse or or Ziggy Marley or you know, we just have Marley. yeah. Uh, did a show with uh, uh with Shaggy. Did a show with Shaggy one one time, you know, and that was pretty cool. Did you ever meet him? Uh yeah, we yeah. We got a chance to meet him. How was he? Stuck up. Really? Yeah. He thought his shit didn't stink. Mr. Inter- International no my ass. No way. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't even let us in his dressing room or nothing. It's like, come on, Shaggy. This shit that went to your head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't even get to yeah. hang out with him? No, 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 not at all. You know, how you doing? Shake your hand there and just walk off, you know, like damn. Yeah. Really? It's like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't give a fuck. No. He just no. wanted to go get paid. Yeah, yeah. He just needed a band to open up, and we were it. We got picked, and that was it. Oh, well. Yeah, it happens. It's not like he's a hero or anything. No. So whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe e We can hook up with him, because he, he lives in uh, San Clemente, I think. Wow, that's not too far. Yeah. He but Ecomos is getting up there now. Yeah. He's getting up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of really good reggae bands out there. We just haven't hooked up with with, with uh, a lot of them yet. But I I I suspect we will. Yeah. You know. Ecomos and uh Fishbone and Oh my god. Yeah, hit us up. King's on the vibes. Yep. We're uh, ready to jam for sure. Yep, just hit us up. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. We will. Cheers. Cheers to you too, Analog Kid. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us for a minute, guys. Hope Appreciate you and uh, enjoyed the buzz. 
you know. I tried to not get too 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 personal and and too insightful. I mean, you want to get hey. to, you want to get to know me? Hell just yeah. come and hang out with me, man. That's all you got to do. Just come on and hang out. You know, go to our website, you know, kingsoul.com, you know. Dot .net. Dot .net. I'm my bag. Kingsoul.net. Hang out, man. You know, come to the well, show. Come to the show. Yeah, we got a show next week. You know, go to my Instagram, Congo Willie. Congo Willie. It's posted right. right there. That's right. Yep. Come Instagram. On down. Come on down. Anyway, yeah. you guys have a have a good night. Appreciate s- it. Sleep tight. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace.